<coughs> Hello and welcome back. I'm Dinsy and this is Broken Sword 5 The Serpent's Curse, Episode 1. I finally managed to get inside the door that was <coughs> walked with the direct. Everything evolved around it, so we need to check the CCTV footage here to learn more about. But <coughs> Nico said from outside that. The room was full of strange trinkets, so let's see what we can check. A naked lady stared at me seductively. Hmm. The street was quiet. <clears throat> Henri's notice board was covered with all kinds of junk. Lava lamp. It was hard to tell if the lava lamp was retro or just plain old. <laughs> Henri sure liked this clutter. He sure did. The calendar looked like a child's school project. Oh no. Henri had ringed 27th May and scrawled birthday. Poor guy hadn't quite made it to his big day. Why would he scroll his own birthday, noob? It's definitely not him. So 27th of May, okay. Writing Postal it down. advertised a 1975 Stockholm Music Festival. Headlined by a group called the Hairy Lobster. <laughs> it was a pretty flamboyant looking clock. Flamboyant looking clock. The frame containing pressed flowers. Henri sure had his quirks. I didn't imagine Henri as a musician. Me neither. The trinkets, the junk, the instruments. Henri was kind of a happy <laughs> at heart. Yep. A pair of evil eyes stared from a partially covered poster. It was a hookah pipe. Those things gave me a headache. <laughs> Henri oh. may have been a hippie, <clears throat> but a hippie with plenty of disposable income. Yep. Not oh, okay. Let's check the desk. I didn't like the idea of a pocket full of sharp pins. I guess not. I didn't need a business card. The pen could have been useful. Then again, it might have leaked all over my pocket. Excuses. The lighter was corroded and grimy. It'd probably never work again. I decided to leave it. Carrying an ink pot around inside my pocket would have been stupid. <laughs> the ink would have stained my hands for days. <sighs> I didn't feel the need to take Henri's eraser. I didn't want to carry the tape around. I had a feeling I wasn't going to need it. So basically nothing here. It was the paper that Nico wrote for. If Nico lived for the day, her story would be on the front <coughs> Well, I guess... Should be soon. There was nothing else in the drawer. The folder looked interesting. This was very definitely tampering with evidence. <laughs> very definitely. It was completion of work notice from a company called Vera Security. They want the guys we'd recommend. Henri had gone behind our back to choose a different security outfit. Huh. I'd never heard of Vera Security, but there was an address and phone number on the form. So I checked, took everything from I the desk. I had no reason <coughs> to search the desk again. Yeah, I get it. Checking, checking. The sofa had clearly taken some punishment over the years. Clearly. The woman in the picture looked vaguely familiar. Really? The statue was jaunty. I don't know what that means. Personal, I could see that the fig leaf was hinged. <laughs> Thankfully, there was no one around to see me do this. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. 
Very interesting. I wasn't going to open the safe without the key. I was fairly sure that even Henri wouldn't be silly enough to keep it hidden in the office. So I need... Hmm. I guess I need the key somewhere else. The secret compartment was open. There was no need to manhandle Henri any further. That wasn't Henri. Oh, I guess it's his statue. Exquisite. I had no reason to search the desk again. Really? Couldn't take anything? The telephone was an antique rotary model. The handset looked greasy. Can check what he's called. I guess not. I opened the compartment again. The secret compartment was open. There was no need to manhandle Henri any further. But it was closed just a minute ago. Hmm, okay. Henri had a model of a VW camper van <laughs> painted in hippie colors. The engine capacity was displayed on the back, 1600 cc. Nice. Henri may have been a hippie, but a hippie with plenty of disposable income. Yeah, we've heard that. Let's check the CCTV. The CCTV system was ancient. It took individual shots and recorded them to tape. Oh. It looked like I needed to enter a passcode to view the recording. What was that shit? Nope. To enter the, the shit here, he gave me a number that I forgot. No. How can I remember it now? No. I needed to find a four-digit number. I had no reason to search the desk again. Okay, I guess the four-digit number will be here. The completion note from Vera Security. There was an address. I needed to try something else. Yeah. I remember the goddamn key. He gave a 6 4? No. So what? I need to view the footage that I recorded to get it? Wow. Oh. Wait a second. 27th of May, was it? Only had ringed. 27th May and scroll. Yeah. So he's in France, so it's normal. 2705. Let's go. I yep. rewound the tape to before the robbery. This was the first interesting frame. It was Henri studying La Maledexia. He couldn't have had any idea what was about to happen. Nico and I were taking a look at La Maledexia just before the robbery. Oh, Funny. Yeah. Painting didn't strike me as remarkable at the time. Just odd. A good view of La Maledexia. I could kind of see why Father Simeon thought it was evil. There was a certain presence about it. Oh, yeah. The killer caught in the act. There was nothing really distinctive about him. The moment it all went horribly wrong. The killer making his getaway. A logo on the front of his helmet read Waterloo Motors. That could be useful. Waterloo Motors. The painting was gone. There I was, taking a look at the alarm box. Hopefully I didn't look too <laughs> suspicious. I 
hadn't thought about that when I was taking a look at the camera. <laughs> hmm, not my best angle. <laughs> that was the last shot. I'd got some leads on the killer's identity. A closer look at the painting might be useful. That was the most recent image. Okay, okay, okay. Poor Henri. The image was a little fuzzy, but in the center of the painting was what looked like a snake eating its own tail. I thought about what the priest said. There was definitely something unsettling about the picture. Chasing your tail, nice drink. That achievement. This frame caught the moment the killer took the painting. The most striking aspect of the painting was a snake eating its own tail. Okay, so that's it for now. It was a small keypad. Think I got everything? It didn't say anything. Hmm. It didn't look like there was anything important on the board. So what's the next move? The completion note from Vera Security. There was an address. Let's call them, see. Hello, Vera Security. George Stobart here, Paris Mutual. Never heard of you. Really? Well, I'm surprised. Uh, we're leaders in our field <laughs> of commercial insurance, and our brand recognition is. The lady hung up. I was gonna have to visit in person. Okay. It would have been stupid to phone Nico from in there. Besides, I really didn't want to attract any attention. So what? Should we just sneak outside? Yeah, I guess I'm done here. It looked like Henri had saved the best booze for the back room. This stuff was way better than the junk Henri was serving in the gallery. So, can we take it? Guess not. We need the key for here. I knew it'd be wrong to leave the room without checking it thoroughly. So there is something else here, damn it. I had what I needed from the CCTV. Okay. Oh, there it is. The waste bucket. In the trash can, I found a crumpled letter from Henri's credit card company, demanding immediate payment. It listed extravagant purchases from a variety of ladies' fashion stores. Hmm. The address indicated that Henri lived in the chic and expensive 16th arrondissement of Paris. I decided to put the letter back. Henri's financial problems weren't my business. But now I knew where he lived. At least it told me that they shouldn't leave the room. Okay. Hell no. Monsieur, sir, you have snuck in here, and now you are tampering with my evidence. I'm just looking for the name of the caterer that cheese was to die for. Ah, to die for? Uh, to kill her. Hell no. I put it to you, monsieur. Monsieur... Stobart. George Stobart. I put it to you that you came here in search of cheese and killed the owner in a fromage-induced frenzy. What? Well, no. I'm from Paris Mutual. We insured the exhibition. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, really. Mm. Time will tell, monsieur. Truth will out, inspector. Who dares wins, monsieur Stobart? He who laughs last, laughs loudest, Inspector Nave. Wow. The guy was seriously <laughs> nuts. May I remind you, monsieur, that a serious crime has been committed. I am going to have to ask you to return to the gallery. Of course. But I do need to ask you a few questions. D'accord. But remember, anything you say can be used against you, monsieur Stobart. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. 
Monsieur Stobart. It's very likely that the security camera holds a clue to the killer's identity. Monsieur, I am a professional, <laughs> and you are an amateur. So, leave the investigating to me, huh? Pow. <laughs> Do you know anything about a company called Vera Security? No, I have never heard of them. Now, I must get on with my investigation. Monsieur, you are American, no? Yeah, California born and bred. Wow. Of course. I think perhaps you are wanting to be like that Starsky and the Bush, <laughs> monsieur. No? Rolling around on top of fast cars with beautiful ladies, firing your gun. Interesting idea, Inspector, but not really my style. <laughs> Indeed. Well, let me tell you something, monsieur. You are my prime suspect. You may go now, but I will need to speak with you again. What? I want to speak more. I had some valuable leads, but before following up on them, I had important business to attend to. Hey, Nico, you want to grab a quick cup of coffee? Sure. Huh? I am pleased to announce that I have finished my preliminary investigation. This is now an official crime scene, and you must all go. I shall be questioning all of you again in the coming days. Nobody is to leave the country, particularly you, Monsieur Stobart. Monsieur Lane will stay behind to help secure the premises. Mo? Mo? Oh. Yes, Inspector. Let them out. Right away, sir. I guess that was it from the blue lizard. Oh. Two copies, please. Mon chéri. Nice work in there, Nico. Whatever you did, it worked. I just made a tiny distraction. And Nave bought it. I think Nave would buy anything that had blood on it. Okay. Check, please. You know, this whole setup, the theft, the murder, it just doesn't make sense. What do you mean? Why is he listening? Sure. Like I said, I think it was an inside job. Go on. Someone disabled the alarm, but on just one painting. Let me guess. La Maledictio. Yes. Exactly. And I aim to find out who did it. Do you want to borrow these clippers? What? Whatever by Shosh. Never say that on a first date. <laughs> it's not a date. Well, the priest thinks La Maledictio is evil. Shosh, he's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. But there's something strange going on. I agree. Smell this. <laughs> oh, zut alors. I had an uncle who used to wear that. Maman told me to watch out for him. <laughs> Creep. The security firm that Henri used was not the one I recommended. Well, that's understandable. <laughs> I've been to restaurants that you recommend. <laughs> I've got their address. Maybe they can tell me who could have had access to that alarm. The CCTV picked up an image of the thief. His helmet had the words Waterloo Motors written across it. Interesting. I think I got a couple of good shots of him too. But I need to take a better look at them at home. Great. Let me know what you find. Invite me home, bitch. Can spend the night. Good luck with your investigation. Oh no, should this. Well, I guess I should go. This story won't write itself. And Georges? Yeah? Be careful. It's good to see you again. Oh. Great to see you too, Nico. Indeed. I watched her walk away. The sound of traffic, the sun shining, a crime to solve, and Nico back in my life.
Mm. What? That's a pretty big map of Paris. I can't go into her home. Oh man. Is it too early to go over security? Mm, no, nah, let's check apartment first. As I approached Henri's apartment, I started to doubt whether coming here so soon after his death was such a great idea. Mm, yes, it was. Parisian spring fashion. Reminds me why I love this city. Oh, come on. I recognize the name Sasha from the charges listed in Henri's credit card letter. So he was buying from here. Tony's Brasserie. Hmm. Looked expensive. Anything else? Paris sure had a lot of similar looking cafes. Yeah. Get in. Going in. Unsurprisingly, the front door was locked. Yes. Who is it? So scared. Excuse me, madame. This is George Stobart. Could I talk to you? George who? What? George Stobart, madame. I'm from the insurance company. For God's sake, did they have all this? I don't want to buy insurance. No, no, I, I, I'm not selling, madame. I, it's about the gallery theft. Oh, I see. You people, you people what do you mean? This isn't a good time. I am so distraught. Madame, I... Right. Now that hadn't achieved much. So I guess this isn't a good time. Unsurprisingly, the front door was locked. Okay then, exit. Can only come here and to Vera Security, so I guess we're going to Vera Security. Wow. The address led me to a dead end alley at the end of a deadbeat mall. No wonder I'd never heard of Vera Security. Deadbeat mall. In a deadbeat alley. Please don't touch the sign. You'll just make it worse. The stall was a myriad of retro kitsch. Bottle stoppers, keychains, musical cards. Retro kitsch, I see. The place looked like it had been out of business for a while. Vera Security. I was going to get some answers there. I hoped. Wait, wait. Help! What's wrong? There's a monster. What? Where? On the floor. Get rid of it. Oh, the cockroach. The cockroach. Yes, the cockroach. Help! Come here, little fella. Really? There were crumbs on the floor. No wonder the cockroach was sticking around. I was never going to catch it with my bare hands. Well, what you left? That was never going to work. Huh. That would have violated the Chemical Weapons Convention. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would have. That wouldn't work. There were crumbs on the floor. No wonder the cockroach was sticking around. So what? Boulder? I refused to torture the little fella. Even cockroaches have rights. 
I needed a better idea. Indeed, you do. Can I pick it? As a child, I'd always been told not to play with matches. <laughs> but I never could resist. Romanovs. It was empty. Natasha Romanov. The ashtray was full of cigarette butts. The filters were gold colored. Very exotic. Indeed. But on lipstick, so I suggest the male. I hear something like a match going on in the background. It's a radio. Leave that radio alone and sort this damn cockroach. The Vera phone. All expenses have been spared. <laughs> okay then, I guess. The hell is this? Even the plant looked depressed. There was a huge cockroach in the way. I don't understand what that is, but let's deal with the cockroach. Come on. I tipped out the matches. I couldn't catch it just by swiping at it. I'd need to entice it closer. I set down my matchbox. Cockroaches like hiding in dark places. Not a bad idea when you think about it. <laughs> hmm. Cockroach wasn't going for Needed some fate. What? That wouldn't have worked. What could be bait? I refused to torture the little fella. Even cockroaches have rights. So I can't pick those here. The box needed some bait. I don't have any. I needed a better idea. Yeah. But what could I use as bait? The office looked like it had been put together in a hurry. Let's talk to the hysterical woman. See what I can acquire. Hello, I'm Cockroach! I see the little beggar. <sighs> I guess not anything else on the table that I can pick. The ashtray was full of cigarettes. Nothing. Hmm, what can I use as bait? I don't know what the cockroach eats. Yes, I get it, I get it. I guess I need to buy something from the dude. Hello, I'm George Stobart. Go away. Call me Bassam. And do please forgive me, but I'm in no mood to talk. I have a resounding headache. Could you help me with a vermin problem, please? Please, Mr. Stobart, I really can't deal with other people's problems huh. right now. Do you know anything about Vera's security over there? Not really. 
I haven't been here long, but neither looks of it. <laughs> Why do you say that? Rush setup, new sign, low investment, and no customers except for you. Mm, good point. I've got some matches. Always good to have. Yeah, but I'm not smoking. Do you have any use for nail clippers? No. Oh. Yes, he's not a much Smell of a talker. This. <laughs> Smell this. Ooh. At least it's the real thing. Yeah. That's gonna be the one of the items, like in Broken Sword 2, there were panties. Red panties that were like from the start of the game to the end and they were no use for it, but so funny conversations about it. I didn't think there was much point. Bad migraine, eh? Tell me about it. The worst. The buzzing and flashing from the old sign is killing me. I thought the neon sign had potential until it broke. Is it your sign? No, the previous owners. It used to be a restaurant. But this is horrible. Adversely affecting my footfall and giving me a splitting headache. I guess I can fix it. You want me to try fixing that sign for you? Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> I'm very good at fixing things. Then please do. I'm no good at electricals. Kay. Marketing analysis and predicting trends is more my thing. Wow. Really? That's how you're selling that old kitsch? Let's see. So there's a restaurant here, so obviously we need to get inside and get some food for the... I took a good look at the sign. The wiring was exposed and the cover broken. No wonder it was flashing. Okay, so I can rearrange the letters. Can I? Oh, I need to click, not drag and drop. Click, drop. Could it be that simple? I pulled the wire off. Well, that was one way to stop the letters flashing. Now only half the sign was illuminated. So, I don't speak French, damn it, should warrant. So, what's the goal now? Sense should be like a space here. Uh, something like it. The buzzing and flashing has stopped. And I am very grateful. But the sign still looks pretty terrible, doesn't it? When you're building a brand from the ground up, name is everything. I need a name that makes my customers long for adventure and treasures from faraway places. I decided to keep the wire. If Bassam knew how flimsy the sign was, he wouldn't be happy. <laughs> Tell me about your business idea. This stall is going to put me through college while giving me field experience. Oh, I see. But the nonsense sign is working against me. It should spell a name for my shop. I need something original, yet familiar, bright and in your face, yet <laughs> subtle and symbolic. I see. I could take a look at your sign, come up with something. You are like a genie from a magic lamp. Indeed. So, can I get into the restaurant? No. That's the door. 
Okay then, let's come up with something good. Actually, I shall think about it. Seeing the letters could be moved around. Shame it didn't have the right letters to spell Basara. Yeah. I'd have to think of something else. Well, while I'm thinking of something else, that's all for now, guys. See you next time. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. Twitch TV slash Dixie. Guys, Ipsy1 at the end. And follow me on YouTube. YouTube.com slash TV. All the walkthroughs are there. And as well, won't game anyone. But you can find me there easy. So, that's all for now. See you next time.